Alliance Rape Crisis Clinic, located in Center City. Self-serving witch is playing a noble martyr. She's getting on with her life. That's exactly what you should do. Modeling to support rape victims? Please. Why can't you just let it go? It's not my style to butt in or take sides here. But I like what Erica's doing. She gets acquitted and resumes her former career. I do know that if I had had a makes for a great story. It's not the real Erica. The real Erica is nothing but a witch who cares only about herself. So you mean this offer to fund the clinic? Totally bogus. Oh, she may send a few pennies, but you can bet your royalty she'll declare each and every one as a tax write-off. So you think she's a phony? 100% genuine fake. Well, then set the record straight, Kendall. Show the world who this woman really is. Everyone would read it. The best revenge is a bestseller. Kendall. Kendall, you listen to me. You finished with Erica. Because if you're not, and you're still after revenge, then I'm finished with you for good. I don't expect you to remember. I don't remember because it never happened. Yes, it did happen. You just never knew. Uh, never knew? That's, that's absurd. Corvina, we, we, we never had a conversation longer than a few minutes, but somehow you and I conceived a child? I know it's difficult for you to believe. Yeah, try impossible. I don't know why she's doing this, but you two have been taken in, and I... You are the last person I would expect this from. Now, if, it, if it's money you needed, why didn't you come to me? Um, Corvina, why, why don't we go and see if Peggy's got the tea kettle? <laughs> See, you haven't lost your touch with the ladies. Well, you're the renowned fact-finding journalist. How could you be taken in by this story? Because I read the letter. What letter? The letter she wrote that said she was pregnant. She was going to send it to you, but she couldn't bring herself to do it. Oh, so it's on display at Vaughn's. Oh, come on, Edmund. However you came across it, letters can be written at any time and post-dated. You were set up. Now, who, who's to say Anton's really her son? Forget the insane idea that he might be mine. Corvino wants something, cash, whatever, I don't want know. anything. She didn't want you or Anton to find out. So she came across the Atlantic to tell me. I didn't give her any choice, okay? I told her if she didn't tell you, I would. You know, a lie is a lie, no matter who tells Ooh, it. Just shut up, sit down and listen. Look, at I may not have total recall, but I do remember who I've slept with, and I have never slept with Corvino. Yeah, not that you've been aware of. Well, what? The devil is that supposed to mean? Look, Dimitri, haven't you ever had one drink too many in your life and woken up with a stranger on the pillow next to you? But, Corvina? No way, Edmund. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but there is a way. Think back about 20 years ago. Big to do at Vatsal. Yeah, there were uh, many parties at Vatsal. Yeah, this one you got real smashed. You had to be helped up into your room by one of the servants, one of the servants who happened to have a particular crush on the young master of the house. Corvina helped me upstairs. Into your bedroom. And then she helped you out of your clothes. And then she helped herself to a little romance. Are you the lady of the house? Oh, I haven't heard that in years. <laughs> Does that mean yes? <laughs> well, uh, at the risk of sounding like my mother, yes, I, I guess I am the lady of the house. Uh, and who are you? Oh, well, I'm just a humble employee trying to make an honest buck. I work for the Pine Valley Real Estate Brokers Association. Oh, I I'm sorry. Uh, look, we're not looking to move it any time soon. If you want to leave a card... No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. You see, what we're doing is uh, the association is working up a demographic survey of, of the type of people that have moved into the area recently. I promise you I won't take up much of your time. Uh, Mackman. If you promise not to count the dust balls. No, as long as they don't follow me home. <laughs> I've got enough of my own. Deal. Wow, this is nice. Really nice. Um, you had a marvelous decorator here. Well, I did it myself, actually. You did? Well, that's great. I mean, the, the, the paint and the fabrics and the colors, it, everything works so well together. <laughs> Are you an artist? No, I just uh, wanted our home to be comfortable. 
Well, I never thought about getting to a man's heart through my throat pillows, but hey, if it works, it works. I promise not to take up much of your time. Um, you see, my information says that uh, Mr. Merrick owns the building. Yes, that's right. Uh, but that uh, Trevor Dillon actually owns the apartment. Yeah. So you live here now, but uh, Mr. Dillon owns the apartment. Yes, that's right. Uh, does he still live here? No. All right, I do have another residence listed here for him. Um, I th Let's see what it is here. It's uh, 95 Hudson Street. Uh, can you verify that, that that is his other residence? Yes, that's correct. So, if you're living in Mr. Dillon's apartment, I, I should say penthouse, you must be very close friends. Excuse me, uh, this survey isn't at all about the new resident, uh, me. It's all your questions are about Trevor Dillon. Why is that? You know, Tim, this might sound corny, but in a way, I believe that Laurel was heaven sent to help you, me, and Amanda through some tough spots. You don't think Laurel pulling your keister out in front of that speeding car was just dumb luck, do you? She wasn't lucky for her. No, and the odds against her showing up just in the proverbial nick, I mean, that's humongous. I mean, there have to be some other forces at play here. Well, then it was a miracle, wasn't it? Absolutely. Laurel's a gift, Tim. I wish she was. Believe it. She is. No. I mean, really. I wish she was ours. Like we could have gotten to him before Jackson did. Yeah, well, that would be great for us, but not so great for Jack. They belong together, Tim. They're good for each other. Everybody knows that. Yeah, I guess. Hey, look, we, we get to see a lot of Laurel, and we just got to be thankful for what we've got, and for the fact she's our very bestest friend. Um, can I take her scarf to her? What you can do is your homework. Oh, she might need it. Well, I thought I might need it. It's not your color. No, I think you're right. I'm more pastels. <laughs> Look, I gotta go down to the office. And, uh... Laurel's on the way, so, uh, maybe I'll drop it off to her. Uh, I'm sorry I got a little off track before. I'm new at this. And for weeks, I've just been recording streams of numbers. You know, this vacancy occupancy survey is nothing but a lot of statistics. And, well, I, I sometimes wander off into the human dimension. Yeah, I, I guess all those numbers without faces can get pretty boring. You bet they can. I mean, I'm really good with numbers, but mostly I'm a people person. <laughs> oh, I see by your hand that you're in the singles category. Uh, oh, no, I'm married. I, I took my ring off to bathe the baby. Oh, so there's a child, a uh, boy or girl? a girl? Girl, but it isn't mine. She's not mine. Uh, your husband's from a previous marriage? No, I, the baby... I, I was helping out a friend, our, our good friend. So you have a flair for decorating, and you're a, a good Samaritan, too. Let me get this straight. You're a married lady who stays in Mr. Dillon's apartment. I think I get it. You think I'm Trevor Dillon's mistress. No. Are you? Look, I don't mean to make waves here, but I have made an offer to Miss Hart, and it's on the table. She already has an offer on the table, one that's a lot more important than some sleazy book. Kendall, please, don't do this. We have our whole lives ahead of us. Think of us getting married and the great future we can have together. Give me a chance to make you happy. I would do anything for you. Anything but help you get back at Erica. She deserves it. I don't care what she deserves. This is about you and me. 
I love you. And I don't want to lose you. But you have to make up your mind. It's either hurting Erica or loving me. What's it going to be? She went away with her mother, had the baby, and brought him back as her little brother. She never told anybody the secret. Never. It took a lot for her to open up to this. She wouldn't have done it if Maria and I hadn't stumbled on it. Now, she begged us not to tell. You want to talk about a rock and a hard place? She was convinced that if Anton had this information, it would just destroy him. And you, too. But, um, my gut said you'd want to know. So, you want to kill the messenger? <sighs> Bro, Anton is definitely your son. You do believe me, don't you? Yes, I, I believe you. And no, I, I'm not going to kill the messenger. Y you were right to tell me. Listen, I wish I could have figured a better way to break this to you. Edmund, I'm a father. I mean, after all these years, I have a, a son, an heir. Um, sorry if I came on it like some reporter, you know, with a scoop that nobody would believe, but it's just that... This didn't exactly fall into the category of previous experience. It's, it's, it's all right. You don't look all right. Well, I... was just remembering, you know, the baby Angelique and I lost, how much we wanted it. And then when Eric and I got married, I thought a child would come along, but... I never figured father would was in the cards. And you were a father all along. <laughs> all along. And if it weren't for you, I never would have known that. Listen, Listen don't, um, don't blame Corvina, okay? Because she thought her whole life was going to go up in smoke if she told you anything. I, I'm not mad. I'm, I'm just a little overwhelmed. I mean, I have a, a son. Now, do, do I tell him? Do I keep quiet? I mean, how, how can I treat them the same? I, I can't inter introduce myself, uh, start from scratch, build a relationship we've been through too much. I mean, can you believe it? I, I kicked him out of my house. He deserved it, didn't he? Well, yes, I was sick and tired of his I won't listen to anyone attitude. <clears throat> Sounds like a certain chip off an old blockhead, I know. I'm sorry, Mr. Henry. Tell a book about Erica is a great idea, but you're going to have to get your dirt from someone else. My fiancé is right. <laughs> 